And everyone can see immediately why this is so dangerous. It's an invitation to the president to take his best shot at anything he may want to do on his way out the door, including using violent means to lock that door, to hang on to the Oval Office at all costs, and to block the peaceful transfer of power. In other words, the January exception is an invitation to our founder's worst nightmare. And if we buy this radical argument that President Trump's lawyers advance, we risk allowing January 6th to become our future. And what will that mean for America? Think about it. What will the January exception mean to future generations if you grant it? I'll show you. We will stop the steal. Today I will lay out just some of the evidence proving that we won this election and we won it by a landslide. This was not a close election. And after this, we're going to walk down and I'll be there with you. We're going to walk down. We're going to walk down to the Capitol. Constitution says you have to protect our country and you have to protect our Constitution and you can't vote on fraud and fraud breaks up everything doesn't it when you catch somebody in a fraud you're allowed to go by very different rules so I hope Mike has the courage to do what he has to do we fight we fight like hell and if you don't fight like hell, you're not going to have a country anymore. So we're going to walk down Pennsylvania Avenue. I love Pennsylvania. And we're going to the Capitol. And we're going to try and give our Republicans the weak ones, because the strong ones don't need any of our help. We're tr going to try and give them the kind of pride and boldness that they need to take back our country. Majority Leader. We're debating a step that has never been taken in American history. President Trump claims the election was stolen. 
The assertions range from specific local allegations to constitutional arguments to sweeping conspiracy theories. But my colleagues, nothing before us proves illegality anywhere near the massive scale, the massive scale that would have tipped the entire election. My challenge today is not about the good people of Arizona. And it will stand in recess until the call of the chair. We'll pause. Protesters are in the building. Thank you. Madam, uh, uh, Mr. Speaker, can I have order in the chamber? The House will be in order. The House will be in order. Okay.
gotta be something in here. We can fucking use against these scumbags. That's what we fucking need to have 30,000 guns on here. That's true. There's never been a time like this where such a thing happened, where they could take it away from all of us, from me, from you, from our country. This was a fraudulent election, but we can't play into the hands of these people. We have to have peace. So go home. We love you. You're very special. You've seen what happens. You see the way others are treated that are so bad and so evil. I know how you feel, but go home and go home in peace. Senators, the President was impeached by the U.S. House of Representatives on January 13th for doing that. You ask what a high crime and misdemeanor is under our Constitution? That's a high crime and misdemeanor. If that's not an impeachable offense, then there is no such thing 